Hi everyone, today's lesson is another centers activity. So we're just gonna do the part of it that we are able to do um, over this video tutorial. So today we are exploring elapsed time. Elapsed time is something that we spent a lot more time kind of right away at the beginning of third grade. So this will be good to revisit this at the end of third grade. I would like you to look at these problems with me and you can do them on a whiteboard or you can do them on a piece of scratch paper or something like that. Here we go. Begin at one o'clock. What time is 15 minutes later? Correct answer, one, 15. What time is it 15 minutes earlier? So 15 minutes before one o'clock, that would be 12, 45, Begin at 7.25. What time is it 30 minutes later? 7.55. What time is it 30 minutes earlier? 30 minutes earlier than 7.25 would be 6.55. Begin at 9.17. What time is 25 minutes later? So you're going to want to take um, 17 plus 25. Put those together and you get you get 7 plus 5 is 12 and then put that together 42 so that would be 9 42 25 minutes earlier well you're going to want to go back if you go back 17 minutes then you still have to go back a little bit longer so for this one I might even recommend doing the strategy we're going to be using next where you kind of put 9, 17 right here. And if you go 25 minutes, do you remember doing this, you guys? 25 minutes, you ended up at 9, 42. And now let's say we go back 17 minutes. You end up at 9 o'clock. And you still have to go back a little bit more. So the difference between 17 and 25, so 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have to go back 8 more minutes. And if we go back 8 minutes, we're going to end up at 8.52. So what time is it 25 minutes earlier? 8.52. All right, here we go. I would love for you to take out your home link packet. And you are looking for a piece of paper that has two of the same problems on it and one of them crossed off. And it looks like this. It says, finding field day end times. This is a blue piece of paper in your home links packet. And on the bottom, this guy is crossed off and it says not needed. We're just gonna use the top part today. Here we go. Jamar wants to know what time field day activities will end. He looks at the schedule to find out how long each activity lasts. Then he draws an open number line. Help Jamar finish his open number line. So we know from this chart that field day begins at 9.15 a.m. So that is on the chart here. Then we know that there are relay races, and we know that the relay races, which are labeled right here, last for 20 minutes. And that is right here. Then we know that we have to do two water breaks. Do you all see that? And we know that each of those water breaks needs to be five minutes each. Now, we have to do two of those, so I would put maybe like two check boxes next to it, and I would check one of those. So here's the one water break, and we know that that's five minutes long. As you can see, there's still several things that we need to do for field day. We need to do the long jump for 10 minutes, hula hoop for 15, double dutch for 20, and we have one more water break, which probably should go um, not at the end, but somewhere in the middle. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add the long jump. And the long jump is 10 minutes long. So we're going to make it twice as long on here 
as what the water break was. And we're going to do plus 10. And can you put an M in there? That would be great. And then what time is it? 10 minutes later than 9.40 would be 9.50. And in here, you want to label this as long jump. And then after you do that, you can check it. I want you to continue working on this, and I would like you to put the water break probably after the hula hoop. So you're going to add the hula hoop, and then a water break, and then the double dutch. Go ahead and push the pause button, and what you'll see when you push play again is you'll see um, my work. Go ahead. All right, sorry guys, this is so much messier than it would be if we were doing it in person, but I'm using a stylus on my iPad, so it's not beautiful. So let me go over it with you right now. And you can see that I added in the second water break after the hula hoop. So hula hoop gets done at 10.05, and then a water break, which gets done at 10.10, as you can see right here. And then I did the double dutch for 20 minutes. And then if you add 20 minutes to that, to 1010, you get to 1030. So your ending time for field day should be 1030 a.m. And I knew that it was a.m. because up here it said that it starts at 915 a.m. And it doesn't really make sense to do a field day um, that late at night, kind of after bedtime. So there is that. We're going to go on into your math journal going to open up to page 285 and today you're going to be doing the math boxes and I'm going to go over them very briefly and then you're going to go ahead and do those and then I will explain what the home link is today. So this is really pretty a short lesson today. All right circle all of the products that have four as a factor. So are there, is there anything down here that a number times four equals whatever this number is here, okay? So you have to pick if they have four as a factor. Number two, you're gonna label where we would put one fourth and where we would put one eighth on the number line. And then you have to tell me how many eighths is the same as one half. Number three, look at a centimeter cube. Remember, a centimeter cube is those yellow cubes. I call them like cheese cubes. They kind of look like that. And it says, to uh, describe at least three attributes. Attributes are characteristics of the cube. So like, tell me about the faces or the bases or the number of edges and those kinds of things. But it says that you're gonna tell me about the faces. So maybe tell me the number of faces, maybe tell me um, what shape the faces are, anything like that. Number four, three fractions to name the shaded area of the circle. And then number five, draw the hands on the clock to show 9.34 a.m. And then tell me how long is it gonna be until it gets to 10 a.m. Number six, you are gonna use basic facts to help you with these extended facts. All right, feel free to pause right here and complete the math boxes before going on to the home link if you'd like. Here we go. Isabella wants to know, not our Isabella, but a different Isabella, wants to know how long each camp activity lasts. Use the table below to find the length of each activity. You may use an open number line, clocks or a different strategy. So you see the schedule here in this camp activities and what you need to do is you need to use these time lengths to help you figure out the length in minutes to fill in over here for each of those different activities. Down below you are going to be doing some extended um, some basic facts that are in there. Use the basic facts that you can find inside to help you figure out the extended facts. That's it for today. It's a short lesson, so hopefully this goes pretty quickly for you. You guys, you're doing great. You have one more new lesson left tomorrow. Bye!